Hey what's up guys, Tactical Pickle here. In today's video I wanted to do a quick tutorial video on how to actually set up the Airgoo um, multicolor LED strip kit for PC lighting. Um, right now my case is actually, I have the NZXT Hue Plus kit in here, um, but I did for the longest time actually use the Airgoo um, lighting kit and I really enjoyed it. Um, I'll link it down below. I actually do have a um, product review on the Airgoo. Um, it's less than 20 bucks, I believe, and it's a really decent kit for the price. Um, each kit comes with two long LED strips. The nice thing about this is uh, that I really like about this kit versus um, how the NZXT kit works is you cut. It comes with two of these here, and each one has um, 30 LEDs on it versus uh, the NZXT kit here where each one of their strips only have 10. So uh, between the two LED strips that you get in the Air Goo kit, you get 60 total LEDs versus the 40 in the NZXT kit. And the benefit of that on the Air Goo kit is it's much, much brighter. Um, the colors, when you install it in your computer, it lights up your case really nicely. Um, However, you do lo uh, lose the functionality of, say, uh, with the NZXT kit where you can do really cool lighting effects. However, the Airgoo kit does have some lighting effects, uh, lighting effects built into it. So today's video, I wanted to just do a quick show of how the actual assembly works. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera, get it up closer so that uh, you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are, guys. This is everything located within the actual Airgoo LED uh, strip lighting kit. So you get two LED strips. Um, they're, they're about 30 LEDs per lighting kit, which is nice. Uh, you get the actual RF um, wireless receiver. Uh, you get a Y cable, which actually attaches to uh, your two LEDs. You get the uh, power cable that goes to um, SATA. Now, one issue that I'll point out is included in the box, you get the SATA power cable. However, on the box itself, it uh, lists it as a Molex uh, connector. And then you get the wireless um, remote here with um, your power, the modes, and you know the different solid colors that it does have. So um, what you wanna do is you, uh, power is going to be last, so you'll wanna set that aside. Um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually figure out the routing for your LED kit. Um, so you, you're gonna wanna run your LED strips and uh, once you have them in a good place, um, you do have to note that they have to meet here um, off the Y cable. So they start at the Y cable and uh, you run it from each direction and uh, that's how that goes. So one thing I do wanna point out is all these kits on the actual fittings here, uh, hopefully it'll zoom in. They have little arrows right there, which uh, you have to um, match up on each of the connectors. So let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. So there you go, you see that little arrow? Each connector is going to have a matching arrow. Come on, come on, come on. Well, either way, each one's going to have its own, um, they're going to have arrows and all you have to do is line it up. That makes sure that all your uh, wires are going in the correct direction and uh, so it's on every fitting. So once you have the Y cable installed, the Y cable will actually mate up with the RF receiver. So you're going to make sure you match up the arrows. Now, one thing I also want to point out as well as on each one of these connectors, um, some of them might have pins located on them right here and some might be have the female end. However, they actually, these pins are removable. So these come out and you can actually place them on um, either side as you need. Um, so if, you know, one time they do have um, pins on it and other times they don't, just check the other side. A lot of the times they just pull out depending on how well they're seated on the different ends. 
So now, once you got everything mounted and ready to go, you got your power cable here. So you're gonna wanna plug it in. Now your full kit is set up except for power. Now, excuse me, as I was saying here, it does have a SATA connection on it, as you can see right there, SATA ATA. And uh, most modern computers, actually it's been quite a while that they've been uh, running, but most computers these days have SATA. So it's actually, it says serial ATA. So that's SATA. Um, SATA is usually what powers like the hard drives, um, SSDs, pretty much everything um, in that aspect. However, on the box, it does list Molex. So Molex is actually, I have some cables here. So Molex is this four pin style uh, connector here. Um, older computers may still have quite a bit of this um, still on their um, actual power supplies. Most computers these days come with just SATA. So these are the SATA cables here. A lot of times you find them connected to, like I was saying, SSDs, um, your disk drive if you have them, or um, actual hard drives. So it's just as simple as lining it up. Um, one helpful tip is if you can see in there, there's kind of an L, um, it L shapes right there at the end. And then all you have to do is just match up with the same uh, kind of L shape here and then you made up and there you go you got your power now if you do if you're unfortunate enough in your computer case does have molex um, all you have to do is actually buy a small adapter they're fairly cheap and I'll uh, link it down in the description below of ones that are located on Amazon um, all you do is you just place the adapter on the molex and the molex usually will go to the the SATA and then you'll be able to hook up your actual LED kit so just to hopefully that's helpful in setting up your air goo kit if you have just uh, one thing to make sure you do is match up the arrows um, every style one of these type of connectors will have arrows so as long as you have all your arrows going in you know meeting in the same spot at uh, all these different points your kit should power on as soon as you get power to it and you should be good to go all right guys thanks for watching hopefully you found this video helpful if you do actually uh, buy and install the air goo lighting kit for your PC hopefully um, coming up soon I'll be able to actually do a video on the NZXT uh, Hue Plus kit and talk about that um, versus the actual uh, air goo what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Um, I actually also purchased uh, the Corsair uh, lighting, uh, lighting Node Pro, uh, which is a direct competitor to the NZXT kit. Um, I'll talk about that one, let you know which one I prefer, which one I like, which one I didn't like, and reasons why. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video helpful and uh, as always, I really enjoy making these guys, uh, making these videos for you guys. Um, if you guys have followed any of the news over the last couple days, you've seen that uh, YouTube decided to um, drop channels with less than a thousand um, thousand subscribers from their preferred partner program, which is a little sad. So you can't monetize videos, but you know if you're in it for the money, then you know less than a thousand viewers, you're really not gonna. You know you might not have the drive it takes to you know stick with it but like I said I really enjoy making these videos this is a hobby for me I um, I enjoy interacting with you guys in the comments down below uh, I've met some really cool people um, you guys always have really awesome feedback this video is actually um, was suggested by a user who is having an issue with installing their kit so hopefully this uh, video will help them uh, get that sorted and you know get their PC lit up nice and bright and awesome colors so that uh, you know they can be proud about the system that hopefully they built or even if they just did the mod to put the lighting in there just to make their PC stand out and you know take a little bit a little bit of pride in it you know because it's it's a lot of fun I enjoy doing what I do and um, hopefully you guys stick around and help the channel grow and uh, as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next video